sin ti no lo tiraré. In two miles, hit the third avenue of Washington 411 at the Fort and Dust area at Fort Longview. John. I'm back in Oregon. I just spent the day yesterday in Washington actually. Um, took a break from Oregon for a day. Um, now I'm back and I'm at a place called Fort Stevens. There's this little shipwreck here that um, sounded like it would be cool to check out. Um, I don't really know much about it. I'll find out some facts and post uh, the dates that it crashed and all that in case you're curious. Um, I'm going to do a few angles. Um, this, I tried one already from more to the side, but the way the light's hitting it, it's too much in shadow, so it's like, I don't know, sort of a black, you know, lines on light sand. So I moved over, because this side of the ship, it's like got some light, so I thought it created more depth. And I like how it sort of forms like an L shape. So, that was, I like the angle. Um, I'm shooting uh, lower to bring it up bring the front of the ship up um, to create a little more uh, uh, dimension and accentuate it a little bit um, I'm gonna do two exposures uh, one is just like a standard I'm shooting at f10 with the shutter speed of 25th of a, of a with a shutter speed of a 25th of a second then I want to try um, with the 10 stop ND filter as a, as an attempt is there are clouds, it's overcast, and there, the wind's blowing them, so I, I'm curious if it'll make some lines in the sky besides just like frozen clouds. So here's the first shot. The lens I'm using, it's uh, 16 to 35. Um, I'm shooting it at 35. Um, let's, let's try it without the people. that and I'm gonna try it with the filter fifteen seconds let's go twenty five twenty five second exposure so this next shot I'm uh, shooting from within the ship or within the hull. Um, the cool thing about a wide angle lens, you know, most people think you want to show or use a wide angle lens to get everything within a shot. And a lot of times that can be true because sometimes you're doing group photos, that kind of thing, and you try to fit a lot of people into a small space and you're trying to get everybody in the shot. So that's one reason to use a uh, wide angle lens. But it's also to elongate and create depth. Um, so there's a lot of metal stuff in the front. Um, then the, the the ship is going, you know, it's pointing, it's bowing. So I want to show that sort of dimension. Now, if I 
use a sort of telephoto lens or a 50 millimeter or something like that, um, it'll shrink that so that bowing effect gets flat. So I, I want to show that effect and I want the items in the foreground so it creates that sense of depth. And there's the window looking out to the ocean. It's not really a window, it's, just, it's a hole, but is that what a window is? So, same angle and everything. So I'm still at F10, um, 25th of a second. I'm waiting for people to move out of the way. You know, it's hard as a photographer. You want to come and like photograph these places. You don't want to be a jerk and have people get out of the way, but how do you politely give people that look like, hey, I'm taking a photo here, but it's also a public place and you're here to enjoy it as much as I am. So it's that weird balance. All right, here we go. So I left the Oregon coast uh, to head to Portland and along the way I keep finding these uh, side roads that just lead to nothing or just surrounded by cool trees and I was like after I, after two stops um, I decided I got I gotta keep going I can't just keep stopping but then I came across this creek and then the place to park this like is this just cool empty road lined by large trees and where I live, we don't have this, so it's like, to me, I'm not going to be able to come back here every day just to, you know, it's like, I'll come back tomorrow or another time, but, you know, it's a whole other state away. And I live in Southern California, so this is, this is far away. So anyway, I pulled over, and so I'm going to, it's funny, like, the way I plan trips, um, I don't always, uh, make plans per se like book hotels that kind of thing like when it's a road trip if I have a goal in mind like to make it to a certain spot like I have that in mind um, and sometimes I'll make plans like book hotels that kind of thing but uh, like in this trip I knew I arrived on Monday and I'm leaving Friday so then I've got you know sort of four and a half days of of, of doing whatever I want so I didn't really book anything. So it's kind of nice not having that pressure to like, oh, I gotta make this reservation or I gotta um, cancel a reservation and sometimes, you know, not get a refund and that kind of thing. So I don't know, if you, if you like to travel, I encourage um, being flexible. You know, if you have a specific place you wanna go to, obviously book, where, book in advance because, you know, sometimes you might find no vacancy and that kind of thing, it's, it's, it's a bummer. Um, but Oregon, I'm finding along the road, whoever designed the road system here, like, God bless you, there's a lot of pullouts where you can just pull off to the side and, you know, get out, take pictures, you know, or just take in the view, whatever. Like, it's designed that way. So, hats off to you, uh, Oregon road designers. So what originally made me stop was I was driving over this bridge. And from the bridge, you can see a, a river that's running underneath. And it just looked really cool. So I was like, oh, I'm going to pull over. Um, and as I pulled over, I could see under the, the underside of the bridge. And it looked to me, it looked really cool. And so 
it's just like a simple framing with, with the trees and the bridge. Um, and then just trying to time it without cars. I'm composing in a square format. I just like the cleanness of it. And so I'm just timing it without cars. Um, I'm at F5, keeping it somewhat shallow, but still a little sharp. So here we go. The sidewalk is narrower than I thought, so I'm not really going to record out there. Let's do my photo and get the heck out. <laughs> 